so hello my dear students and learners so in my previous video i have discussed about the uh, basic concept of array the classification of array and how to initialize an array how to declare an array so now today with this concept i am going to discuss a topic that is called insertion of an element into an 1d array now we are going to write a c program through which we will insert an element into an 1d array and through this program we will implement the traversing and insertion operation of a data structure so please let's have a look on the code now what is the concept of this program the concept of this program is first we have to declare an array we have to mention the size before declaring the array then after that we have to insert the elements into this array then we have to ask the user that enter the position at which he or she wants to insert the value and after entering the position then we locks that what is the value that the user want to insert and finally after inserting the elements we will print the values to check whether the element has been appropriately inserted at said proper place or not so first we will declare the header file you know it that has include std io dot h so this is the header file standard input output header file we are including because we are going to call some system defined function for example scanf printf which has been written in this header file so we are taking the permission from the system by including this header file okay now we are starting the main function now here i have mentioned the data type return type of the main function as void that means the main function after doing its job it will not return any value okay so first we have to declare the array as well as the required variable so first i am declaring an integer array a having size 10 so this array will be capable to store maximum 10 elements okay so and all of the values will be of integer type now if you have to work with inti array so we have to deal with the indices so this is the variable i which will track the index then we have to enter the number of elements which is n that we want to work with into this array then we have to ask the user that what is the position user wants to insert the value so the pos is the variable we are declaring and finally the value that user wants to insert so these are the variables along with the array we have declared before starting the program now after declaring this after executing this line by the c compiler what will be happen the memory required memory will be allocated for the array a so there are 10 elements so if we are dealing with a 32 bit compiler that means for 10 elements each and every integer will takes four bytes of memory so 40 bytes will be reserved okay so here i have drawn the memory map of this array although i have not mentioned the addresses so here the name of the array is a and it will have 10 locations so we can store maximum 10 values and the index will always start from 0 as i have told you in my previous video so the last index will be 10 minus 1 that is 9 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this 10 index will be there okay now after allocating this memory for this array now we have to ask the user that how many elements user want to store initially into this array so we will print a statement by calling the print a function that enter the number of elements now we have to scan this value so for scan this value to take the inputs we have to call the scanf function and we want to take the number of values and number of elements or values will be an integer value whole number so we have to use the format which is by percentage d this is the format for integer and we have to scan the number that is 
ampersand n that means n will be the number of elements initially we want to start with array okay so suppose the user has given the value for n is equals to 8 that means we want to store 8 values into this array initially okay so if you want to store this array so we have to execute a loop but before executing this loop we will again print a statement that enter percent d elements into the array now here i have written enter percent d elements into this array so in place of percent d what will be printed the value of n will be printed and what is the value of n a that means we have to initially enter eight elements into this array okay now whenever we will scan the value for an array since we have to scan eight elements we have to execute a loop okay so you are writing for i is equals to 0. So i is equals to 0 means here i is the variable which is actually tracking the index. So initially it will start inserting element from index 0 so that, so that i is being initialized by 0. i less than equals to i less than n i plus plus. So here the i is starting from the value 0 and less than n means the value of n is 8. So 0 less than 8 then i will be incremented. 1 so 1 less than 8 so in this way i will take the last value 7 till then the loop condition will get true so i will iterate from 0 to 7 and for 0 to 7 index this for this element the value will get stored so you have to scan the value so again you have to scroll the scanf function integer value that's why percent d now value will be scanned for ai so Initial value of i is 0. So first the value will be scanned for a0. So ampersand a0 means the value that we are going to take from the user. The first value it will be stored at index 0. That means at the address of a0. So the first value will be scanned. So in this way this loop will iterate for the value of i equals to 0 to 7. So 7, 8 times the loop will iterate. And suppose the user is supplying this value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay, user can take any other value as well, but suppose these are the value user have supplied. Okay, now after inserting this element, whether the element has been properly inserted or not, to check this, we will again execute the loops to print the array. We will call the printf function new line character. So it is a very good practice to use new line character whenever printing something because the, every time the next the whatever you are printing actually that will be printed on the next line so array before inserting the element array before inserting the element array before inserting the element means we have already inserted some element but before inserting the element at a particular position that's i want to mean so for that we have to execute the loop again so the loop condition will be same for i equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus and we have to just print the element. So printf percentage d space that means elements will be printed take, taking a space. So a space will be incorporated between two values and we have to print the value that is a i. That means the i starting from 0. So the first value will be printed a0. a0 means it is 1. So from a0 to a7 all these 8 values will be printed so that we will be able to understand that elements have been stored successfully. Okay, now after storing the element, we have to ask the user that what is the position where user want to insert the element. So again, we have to print the statement. So we are calling the printf statement, the enter the position. Okay, now we have to scan the position. So we are calling the scanf function. Position is an integer value. So scanf percentage d ampersand pos. So the variable we have already declared before using it. So position, this value, suppose the user want to insert at position number, at position number 4, position 4. That means position 4 means at index 3 because position 1 is at index 0 so index 0 means it is position 1 index 1 means it is position 2 if index 2 that means it is position 3 and 
index 3 means position is 4 this is the first element second element third element and fourth element so this is position so we want to insert the new element at position 4 that means at index 3 4 minus 1 now after taking the position now we have to ask the user to enter the number he or she wants to enter on that particular position so again we have to call the printf function we are calling the printf function enter the number now after that we have to call the scanf function so definitely it will be an integer number that's why percentage d and number will be scanned for the variable value so the number suppose the user want to insert the number at position 4 and the number that is the value will be 11 that means at that particular position at index 3 11 will be inserted okay now what is the logic so if we want to insert the element 11 in place of 4 that means at index 3 so before that we have to make this place vacant so how can we make it vacant we will shift this element 8 that means element present at index 7 to index 8 okay similarly this element will be shifted to this location that means index 6 element will be shifted to index 7 element then this element will be shifted to this location this element will be shifted to this location and finally the 4 which is present at index 3 will be shifted to position 5 that is at index 4 so what will happen after shifting this 8 will be shifted to index number 8 then 7 will be shifted to this position then 6 will be shifted to this position 5 will be shifted to this position and 4 will be shifted to this position okay now after shifting this position this place will remain vacant and where we have to insert this 11 11 so you check how many shifting is required 1 2 3 4 5 so we have to execute a loop so that the loop must iterate five times so that five shiftings will happen. So now we are iterating the loop. So for i is equals to n i less than equals to pos i plus plus. Okay. Now what I have written that i is equals to n means the n value is eight. So 8 greater than equals to pos means pos value is 4 and it will be i minus minus. Okay, so i minus minus that means every time i will be decremented by the value 1. So initially i value will be 8, so 8 greater than equals to 4, then it will become 8 becomes 7, 7 greater than equals to 4, then 7 will become 6, 6 greater than equals to 4, 5 greater than equals to 4 and finally 4 greater than equals to 4. So i will start from 8 and it will go up to 4 when the loop condition will become true. So 8, 7, 6, 5 and 4. So, this 5 times the loop will iterate. Okay. Now, we have to shift the element present at index 7 to index 8. So, index 8 value will be present index 7 value. Now, at index 7, we have to store the value present at index 6. So, 6 will be stored to 7. Similarly, the value present at 5 that will be shifted to 6. Similarly, value present at 5, present at 4 will now be shifted to index 4. And finally, the value present at index 3 will be shifted to index 4. Okay. So, 7 index value that is 8 will be shifted to index 8, 6 to 7, 7, 5 to 6, 4 to 5, and 3 to 4. So, these 5 shiftings will be required. Now, here you check if we denote this one is by i because i is starting from 8. So, we can write it i minus 1. That means we can say that a of i will be a of i minus 1. So, that is the statement. If we execute this, that means all these shiftings will happen. So, we will write that our current a of i will be previous i minus 1. Okay, that means if we put 8 here, then current A8 will be the previous A7. Previous A7 was 8, so this 
so that will be your current a8 so a8 will be shifted here so in this way all these five shifting operation will take place okay now after that what will happen this after shifting this elements then this place will remain vacant so this is the index 3 where we want to insert the element that is position 4 first position second position third position fourth position so after getting out it out of this loop we have to place the element at index 3 that means index 3 means pos minus 1 here the pos value was 4 so 4 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that means it is 3 so in that index we will store the value that we have taken from the user and that is what that is 11 we have taken the value 11 okay so 11 will be stored at index 3 so finally 11 will be stored in that particular location so we have stored 11 now previously we had 8 elements now after inserting 11 we will have 8 plus 1 9 elements so now we have to execute the loop to paint the array after inserting 11 so we will again call the printf function and we will write array after inserting the element ok now to print the elements we have to execute the for loop I have already told you that right now we have 8 plus 1 9 values so array index will again start from 0 so it will go up to index 8 because initially there are 8 elements now we have 9 elements 9 elements means last index will be 9 minus 1 8 ok so i less than equals to n the value of n is 8 so it will start from index 0 and it will go up to index 8 and i will be incremented by the value 1 that means it will just first print 0 index element then 1 up to a 8 so we have to print printf So we have to now print the value present in the array. So we are writing printf percentage d a of i. So all the elements will be printed one after another and that is the end of the main function. So when the program will run, what will be the output, what will have in the output screen? First it will print the this line, enter the number of elements, then we will scan the number, here the number we have scanned is 8 then it will print enter 8 elements into the array so this line will get printed then it will take the 8 values then this line will be printed array before inserting the elements ok so elements will be printed by using this for loop so all the 8 elements will be printed and after printing the elements then this line will be printed where the user will be asked to enter the position where the user want to insert the element then user after inserting the element then this loop will gets executed to shift the elements and finally after shifting the elements this line will be printed that array after inserting the element ok and by executing this line all the 8 plus 1 elements that is 9 elements will get printed on the output screen ok so my dear students I hope that you have understood the concept of inserting an element into an array ok so thanks for watching please take care have a nice day